In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on March 22, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Charleston vs. Alabama In the initial round of the Division I college basketball tournament, the spotlight falls on a captivating matchup featuring the 13th-seeded Charleston Cougars locking horns with the 4th-seeded Alabama Crimson Tide in the competitive West region. Charleston's journey to this clash has been marked by their triumph in the Coastal Athletic Association tournament, where they clinched victory against the Stony Brook Seawolves in a thrilling overtime encounter, concluding with a scoreline of 82-79. On the flip side, the Alabama Crimson Tide entering the fray with a record of 21-11, encountered a setback in the quarterfinals of the Southeastern Conference Tournament, bowing out to the Florida Gators with a score of 102-88. Set against the backdrop of what promises to be a riveting showdown in the tournament's opening stages, the matchup between the 4th-seeded Alabama Crimson Tide and the 13th-seeded Charleston Cougars is poised to deliver an abundance of excitement. With Alabama boasting the nation's 112th ranked defense, as per Ken Palm's metrics, and Charleston showcasing one of the more efficient offenses among mid-major teams, analysts and enthusiasts alike may find themselves inclined to cast doubt on the Crimson Tide's defensive prowess. While Alabama's defensive vulnerabilities may leave them susceptible to conceding substantial points, it's imperative to acknowledge their capability of unleashing a formidable offensive onslaught, capable of tallying triple-digit scores. Alabama's recent form reflects a commendable record of triumphs in five out of their last nine encounters, underpinned by a potent offensive arsenal that consistently breaches the 90-point mark per game. Their proficiency extends to the charity stripe, boasting a commendable free throw percentage exceeding 78%. Additionally, their adeptness in securing offensive rebounds, averaging more than 11 per game, bolsters their scoring opportunities. Notably, a reduction in turnovers over their last three outings signifies a concerted effort to fortify their defensive resilience a facet crucial in stifling the Cougars' offensive maneuvers. Conversely, the Cougars' defensive shortcomings, evident in their concession of over 73 points per game on the road, coupled with their encounter against formidable offensive units, underscore the formidable challenge they face in containing the Crimson Tide's scoring prowess. The Cougars arrive at this juncture riding a wave of momentum, with an impressive streak of 12 consecutive victories propelling them forward. Exhibiting commendable offensive prowess, they've consistently notched over 78 points per game on the road. Despite their proficiency on the offensive end, their rebounding prowess pales in comparison to that of the Crimson Tide, limiting their prospects of capitalizing on second-chance opportunities. While the Cougars may find avenues to breach Alabama's defensive armor, their ability to match the Crimson Tide's offensive output remains a daunting task. Ken Palm's metrics reveal a marginally inferior defensive efficiency for Charleston relative to Alabama, conceding 106 points per 100 possessions, a statistic warranting concern against an Alabama offense boasting an impressive average of 126.5 points per 100 possessions. Alabama's considerable height advantage, ranked 34th nationally, further compounds Charleston's offensive challenges. Despite Charleston's fast-paced offensive style posing a credible threat, the relentless pressure exerted by the Crimson Tide over the course of the game is poised to wear down the Cougars, potentially culminating in a double-digit victory for Alabama in the opening round. So the Alabama Crimson Tide to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. The offensive prowess displayed by both teams underscores the potential for a high-scoring affair, with the Cougars averaging 80 points per game, including an impressive 78.5 points per game on the road. Their up-tempo style of play, reflected in an adjusted tempo of 69.8, ranks 58th in the nation, a factor likely to exploit the defensive vulnerabilities of an Alabama team conceding 89 points per game on the road. 
Conversely, the Crimson Tide, with averages of 91 and 88 points per game overall and on the road respectively, adopt a more frenetic pace, characterized by an adjusted tempo of 72.7 possessions per game, ranking 11th nationally. Despite the Cougars' defensive frailties, containing the Crimson Tide's offensive juggernaut remains a formidable challenge. While the projected point total may seem daunting, it's indicative of the offensive efficiency demonstrated by both teams. Charleston, ranked 57th in Ken Palm's adjusted offensive of efficiency with a rating of 113.7, and Alabama occupying the third position in college basketball with a stellar offensive efficiency rating of 125.4, underscore the formidable offensive capabilities at play. With offensive rebounds assuming paramount importance, the prowess exhibited by both teams, averaging 11.1 offensive rebounds per game, further emphasizes the potential for a high-scoring spectacle. As such, over the projected total is our full-game total pick. James Madison vs. Wisconsin As we stand at the threshold of the inaugural round of the Division I National Championship Tournament, a riveting clash beckons in the South region on Friday evening. It's a showdown between the 12th-seeded James Madison Dukes and the 5th-seeded Wisconsin Badgers. The Dukes, boasting a commendable record of 31 wins and 3 losses, triumphed in their previous encounter, securing the Sun Belt Conference title with a commanding 91-71 victory over the Arkansas State Red Wolves. Conversely, the Badgers, with a season record of 22 wins and 13 losses, suffered a setback in the Big Ten Tournament Finals, succumbing to a 93-87 defeat. Expect an atmosphere of regal anticipation for Duke's enthusiasts come Friday. James Madison enters the NCAA Tournament as a formidable force, a team that inspires trepidation among its adversaries. Just inquire of Tom Izzo regarding the capabilities of the Dukes, he'll attest to their prowess. JMU boasts an impressive proficiency from beyond the arc, with a plethora of sharp shooters capable of unleashing long-range bombardments. Ranked 54th in threes made per game, averaging 8.7, and 42nd in three-point percentage at 36.4%, the Dukes pose a formidable challenge, especially for the Badgers, who languish at 345th in opponent three-point percentage. Moreover, James Madison's offensive versatility extends beyond the three-point line, with a commendable shooting percentage within the arc at 54 4.3%. A stark contrast emerges in the assist-to-turnover ratio between the two teams this season. James Madison boasts the 26th position nationally, with an impressive ratio of 1.521, whereas Wisconsin lags behind its 74th, with a ratio of 1.313. Recent defensive performances further accentuate this contrast. While the Dukes have allowed an average of 68 points in their last three outings, the Badgers have conceded 73 points over their previous five games. Anticipate James Madison to assert dominance on the boards and apply defensive pressure, restricting Wisconsin's offensive output sufficiently to keep the final score within a six-point margin. So the James Madison Dukes to cover the spread as underdogs is our full-game side pick. Following a Wisconsin loss, the over has prevailed in 9 out of 12 instances, and when the Badgers assume the role of favorites, it has succeeded in 15 out of 23 occasions. Additionally, the over has emerged as a consistent winner throughout Wisconsin's season, with a record of 23-12. Furthermore, it has thrived in James Madison's recent games, registering a 5-1 record in their last six outings. Given the Dukes' proclivity for a high-tempo style of play, coupled with their efficiency in the half-court offense and prowess in rebounding, expect an uptick in scoring opportunities for both teams. Ken Palm's adjusted offensive rating underscores the offensive prowess of both squads. James Madison ranks 54th nationally with an offensive rating of 113.8, while Wisconsin occupies the 11th spot with a rating of 120.1. Recent performances validate these rankings, with the Dukes averaging 83 points in their last five games and the Badgers posting an average of 80 points over their previous four outings. In essence, anticipate James Madison to exert relentless pressure on Wisconsin throughout the game, culminating in a high-scoring affair. Thus, over the projected total is our full-game total pick. Grand Canyon vs. St. Mary's The clash between the 12th-seeded Grand Canyon Lopes, victors of the Western Athletic Tournament, and the 5th-seeded St. Mary's Gales, champions of the West Coast Conference Tournament, is set to ignite the NCAA Tournament. Grand Canyon soared to the zenith of the Western Athletic Conference with a stellar 17-3 record, culminating in a decisive 15-point victory over Ut Arlington, thereby securing their berth in the prestigious NCAA Tournament. Remarkably, this marks the Lopes' third appearance in the the 
NCAA tournament within the past four seasons, showcasing their consistent prowess on the collegiate basketball stage. Conversely, the St. Mary's squad, having suffered only one defeat in the West Coast Conference, clinched the conference championship with a formidable 69-60 triumph over the second-seeded Gonzaga. Notably, this marks the Gales' third consecutive foray into the NCAA tournament, marking a historic milestone in their program's annals. Grand Canyon boasts a formidable offensive arsenal, averaging an impressive 79.5 points per game while maintaining a commendable 46.8% shooting accuracy, ranking 66th nationwide. However, the Lopes are yet to confront a defensive juggernaut akin to St. Mary's. The Gales have proven to be a defensive force, conceding a mere 58.5 points per game, ranking them second nationally, while limiting opponents to a paltry 39.1% shooting accuracy, marking them eighth best in the country. Additionally, St. Mary's prowess on the boards is evident, conceding the fewest rebounds per game, with opponents averaging a meager 23.9 boards per contest, compared to the Gales' robust average of 39.5 rebounds per game. Noteworthy is St. Mary's track record of covering the spread in eight of their last ten outings, a testament to their defensive solidity. Conversely, Grand Canyon boasts a sturdy defense, restricting opponents to 66.5 points per game. However, they face a formidable St. Mary's offense that boasts a 46.7% overall shooting accuracy, ranking 66th nationally. Moreover, the Gales excel in offensive rebounding, ranking 26th nationally with an average of 10.9 offensive boards per game, posing a considerable challenge for the Lopes. Despite Grand Canyon's commendable season in the Western Athletic Conference, their campaign was marred by a relatively weak schedule, with few formidable defensive adversaries within their conference. In stark contrast, St. Mary's has demonstrated an adeptness at stifling some of the nation's most potent offensive units, dictating the tempo of play to their advantage. The Gale's strategic utilization of the shot clock effectively forces opponents into prolonged defensive engagements showcasing their tactical acumen. While Grand Canyon has exhibited defensive prowess throughout the season, St. Mary's presence a formidable offensive threat, characterized by efficiency and sharpshooting prowess, epitomized by standout scorer Aiden Mahoney. Moreover, Grand Canyon's proficiency at the free-throw line and disciplined defensive approach, ranking 80th nationally in opponents' field goal attempts per game, adds further intrigue to this captivating matchup. The impending clash promises to be a showdown between Grand Canyon's potent offensive and St. Mary's impenetrable defense. St. Mary's, having weathered more rigorous tests throughout the season, is poised to rise to the occasion. With an average of 74 points per game, the Gales are primed to exploit offensive opportunities, ensuring a resounding victory. Thus, the St. Mary's Gales to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. While Grand Canyon boasts an impressive scoring record, both teams exhibit formidable defensive fortitude, with the Lopes conceding an average of 66.5 points per game and the Gales limiting opponents to a mere 58.5 points per game. As March heralds the advent of conference tournaments and the much-anticipated Big Dance, recent trends indicate a propensity for low-scoring affairs, with five of the last six games involving the Gales culminating in totals falling under the projected mark. Notably, according to Kenpum, Grand Canyon maintains an adjusted tempo of 68.1, ranking 135th nationally, while St. Mary's adopts a deliberate pace with an adjusted tempo of 62, ranking 358th nationally. Grand Canyon's offensive prowess notwithstanding, they are yet to encounter a defensive behemoth akin to St. Mary's. The Gales' defensive prowess ranks amongst the nation's elite, stifling opponents both inside the paint and beyond the arc. Grand Canyon's preference for an up-tempo style will be challenged by St. Mary's deliberate approach, disrupting their rhythm and flow. Despite St. Mary's offensive efficiency, their deliberate pace portends a low-scoring affair. The convergence of these factors suggests a high likelihood of a low-scoring outcome, therefore reflecting the potential for a tightly contested defensive battle under the projected total as our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.